Oh. Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet, Barasov is pressured to begin tests. Disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation, effectively wiping it from the map. 2010. A U.S. spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. Today, boys and girls, um, I am exploiting the fact that I have been given a family shared access to Max ones library. I guess I qualify as a space cousin or something. And while he is away on traveling the seas and whatnot, I will. Whoops! Oh, that's right, I uh, reconfigured the controls. Let's see if we can save. Oh, it's with checkpoints. Okay, never mind then. So, yes, I am uh, dipping into the library while he's not using it. Should I be standing in fire? Probably not. And I'm gonna sample me some singularity. I do intend to buy it uh, myself anyway. So, um, Probably reconfigure that key. Let's let's check this out. Options, controls, jump. Okay, so use reload. Oh, 
thing is I'm I'm very used to reconfiguring F as the uh, generic use and interact thingy. So this might be better at something else. I don't know. Let me leave it like this right now. Can I can I do anything with anything? Interact with anything? Fire. Let's put it here with the rest of the fire. Naturally, I'm trying to sort of get a hang of the area first and uh, do everything that the game might not um, have intended for the player. Duty! Teddy! Can I... Oh. Stab the teddy. Stab the crates? No? Okay. I can already see how my uh, choice of controls might lead me into a very awkward position with some people. Because if I want to interact with them by like peacefully and um, press F by accident, yo, and um, end up stabbing them in the ass. So is this our chopper? Stab it. Uh oh. Well, that was fucked. Can I get them to the chopper? Does fire damage me? How do I hit other oh, suits some sort of note? Yo! Last thing I wanna do is to get stuck, especially so early on. Okay, I guess I can't get into the chopper. Mm. Can I loot them? Hello. Um, stab. Just in case, you know. Because that's what you do with withered corpses. Can I get on top of this? Why not? Should I should I have gone in there, I wonder. What else do we have here? Yo. Oh, and for the record, the way that the title is displayed, like when you're using Latin alph alphabet, just spell out phonetically some um, Latin alphabet things, and uh, and you reverse the R like this. Then for the people who can even remotely read Cyrillic, it will be extremely distracting because we would be misreading that character for something else. So... No to designers, please stop doing that. Some... Uh, um, uninitiated people might find it as a uh, as soviet -y. But it's not. Okay. Or will it? I guess there won't be any question how I can interact with Sek- Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Yoink. I think I should probably reverse these. Like, I usually use uh, 
Yeah, let's reverse these. Options. Controls. Fire jump. Reload. F. And impulse mouse one. This is much better. Welcome to Katorga 12. Welcome. All first time arrivals must report to registration. All those who have previously registered are free to enter through the north gate. North gate, I. Um, I I have an invitation. A space cousin invitation. Okay, it's one of those. This is Devlin Four One. We were hit. God damn it! I repeat, we were hit. <coughs> Why are you one actual here. What's your status, Captain? What's your status? They got punched out. Copters down, and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about thirty clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. Okay, from the Rubik Devlin. And the way this text is presented, I would now read Yandavu with Devlin, which is wrong. So, do pay attention. Yeah, let's stab some stuff just because it's uh, Let's stab that banner. Yeah, fuck you, Communist Party. Okay, what's out there? Oh, okay, so I have to tap twice to... Oh, so sprint was shift. Let's change that. To X controls sprint X. Good. Again, I'm just sort of making the uh, making the controls to match what I'm used to. Do I have to hold it down to sprint or what? I don't know. This uh, first installment will mostly be just... Can I interact with it? Can I... Uh, okay, I can't walk into the water. Uh, it's just me getting a hold of the controls and... Stabity, stabity. And... Uh, getting used to the... How things work and all that. I might try to sneak out of the game area. Right away, I might not. Time will tell. Okay, let's get back to the cliff face because it feels so much safer here. But what's that shelter over there? Also, if this is a Soviet installment, why, oh why, do they have Katorga written in uh, in Latin letters? Hmm. And the Latin letters. Uh, with the misplaced yaw, for that matter. This is this is why you pay attention to details because no matter how cool your shit is, stuff like this will distract people. <gasps> if this was stalker, there would totally be a stash under this uh, fur tree. Fur trees. Hmm. I can see goodies. Aha. Okay. Okay. Did I somehow turn off my HUD? I mean, I could... I could use my HUD, you know? Yes, another control aim assist 
No, I don't want Amos to take that away. Chrono ping. Let's do a chrono ping. Although I don't think I have the ability to do that yet. Oh, and also an important note is that uh, screenshot is that uh, while I am new to the game, or it's my first playthrough, I am not completely oblivious of the game and its, uh, its content because uh, I have watched uh, Noxby One's playthrough and based on that decided that I, I want to I want to play this game myself as well. I'll play it and buy it, which I will. Okay, okay. can we... Up there seems interesting. Let's go up there. Like, totally. Okay, I'm guessing hacking doesn't work that way. Right, continue on. I stab it, just in case. Ominous. What was that? I want to stab something. Because stab. How can I tell if there's anybody around? I mean, besides using my eyes, you know? And why can't I peek out from behind the corner? Grab ah before I grab the doodad, let's check behind the corner. Because corners can be dangerous. Yes, what was that noise? I'm guessing this is this is my checkpoint or save point, whatever. Can I go in here? You can't go in there. Can I track anything? I guess not. Okay, so let's grab that thing and hope nothing bad happens. Yoink. Oh, okay, so the hard messages only show up when I actually do something. There's doodad out there. Movies! Get behind that corner. Let's be very, very quiet. Ah, okay, that one will dis not display. Playback some something, I'm guessing. A note over there. Comrade Yosef. Typewriter, phone. Again, uh, while I find this uh, game quite gorgeous, uh, there is one thing that's very distracting uh, for uh, former Soviet residents like me, is that all the interior designs, the proportions, the architecture, the, uh, the furniture, it is very clearly not Soviet design. Like it, it, it resembles uh, the uh, vault technology in New Vegas far more greatly like like these uh, desks for example this is not Soviet design these light switches of microphones not Soviet design, these file cabinets the, the proportions and, and sizes and all that they are just not right again something that uh, a person uh, who is not from from this uh, this part of the world and who has never had to um, experience the Iron Curtain just wouldn't notice and wouldn't mind. But it's part of the uh, point one. It's part of the uh, atmosphere creation. Oh God, we're so visible out here. But part two, it it actually also shows the. Um, how to put it, the external impression. Like there was this uh, 
article recently, well not too recently, but uh, some weeks ago uh, in Game of Sutra when uh, I think it was a Brazilian uh, developer who described how uh, how their world was being used in foreign games and how they well get it wrong but how they how they sort of how they're getting it wrong is actually part of what makes things interesting to view and 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 such so while i keep whining about how all this is clearly not soviet design it's also fascinating what they get wrong and how and and so on so it's it's not uh it's nitpicking for uh not not because i'm hoping they will get it right but it's more like commentary on um, perceptions, I guess. Okay, now let's start interacting with shit. I bet this will be loud. Uh, or not. I'm leaving the obvious quest item for last. Okay, let's check. Was this a note? No. Even the posters, the uh, Soviet posters were very different indeed. Do I get to switch on the lamp? Ah, this is one of those, you gotta age it later on to gain access to stuff and so on. Come on, you can crawl in there. I mean, you totally can, can't you? later. Ah, okay. So I'm guessing that to get up those stairs I would have to clear out this debris. And to clear out this debris I would have to um, gain access to some of the uh, abilities that I currently do not possess. Can I make a shadow? Oh, but, but, but... Okay, let's interact with this. The threat from the west is ever-present. And here on the isolated island of Katorga 12, we are fighting that threat. The glorious work we are doing will change the world. Yeah, these posters look about right. way of life safe from those Ish. Soviet scientists have discovered the answer to our hopes and dreams, the element E-99. E-99 is a rare element only found on Not Katorga so 12. There are many different ways to help Not the so efforts of Mother Russia here on Katorga 12. Your family will live well kind on the of island, Soviet and your children will attend schools offering the very best Russian education. It's wrong era. Scientific <laughs> research is the largest division on the island, advancing agriculture, <laughs> industry, medicine, and the military. Processing E-99 is an important part of the island's function. Creating the metal, gas, and other forms of E-99 we use every day. A strong military presence is important on Katorga 12 to ensure the safety of the island. A workforce that would make every Russian proud is the backbone of the island. From the rail yard to the docks, every worker supports the motherland. All of your contributions will go toward achieving the ultimate goals of our work here on Katorga 12. We must stand as one against the forces of the West. Okay, so I think this one is a remix of an actual Soviet poster. We must now stand together for Mother Russia. Okay, so I'm guessing that uh, whoever did those uh, quote-unquote Soviet cartoons, okay, spooky alleyway, uh, has indeed studied uh, the Soviet uh, cartoons of the era. So they, they did get some of the visuals kind of in the right uh, 
mean. Wait, who was leaving these notes again? But he must explain that there's no time to waste. I sense a trap. Spooky alleyway is a uh, spooky hall. Hallway is inviting indeed. Okay, let's see. You are here. The village area contains the civilian docks where new personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. The industrial docks are where supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. Once construction is completed, the tower will be home to the Parisov reactor. This powerful device will generate a singularity, an event horizon that will provide the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe. Novaya era? What does that even mean? Okay, so I'm guessing we're s we have started from this end and now this hallway will lead us through the underground to the next bit. The research Here. laboratories okay. are where scientific investigation is done into the potential uses of E99. Some of the areas of experimentation include weapons development, crop regeneration and medical research as well as chronology investigation. Ooh to the lab. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E99 ore. Uh oh. So is that our processing? The processing facilities are where E99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. I'm guessing the Paris reactor is at the end. Once yep. construction is completed, the tower will be home to the Parisov reactor. This powerful device will generate a singularity, an event <laughs> horizon that will provide the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe. The island looks like a, a radioactive turd. Okay, so we're in a village. I'm guessing our next uh, trip will be to the lab. So this was the industrial docks, uh, rail line, reactor, and Varisov. Okay. I'm guessing onward. of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Barisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. If only Dr. Demichev had died in the fire. <laughs> Where's my checkpoint, eh? Can I... Again. Ha ha! Gotcha. So if... Do I have a flashlight? No. So if this is indeed a uh, Soviet research facility, why is... Uh, the uh, great uh, generalissimus uh, plaque written in uh, Roman letters. I mean Latin alphabet. I mean I know it's because of gameplay but... What was that? It's 
stay away from that light. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carpool from there. Double time it. Move! What could possibly go wrong? Nah, I'm working on the assumption that everything goes tidy up anyway, so I will, I'm gonna take my sweet time to explore and shit. <coughs> ah, so this must be the fire that killed Demichev. Uh, because I'm I'm somewhat familiar with storylines, so I I know some of the key elements. Can we go up here? No, we're being railroaded. Okay. Is there any doodad in here? Unless uh, a mission kills you, do that Trump's mission. Oh, by the way, visually speaking, mm, uh, bathrooms and uh, all, all sorts of sanitary elements are, are also kind of uh, um, visually important. Like uh, it's it's one one great element why the uh, why all the environments in Stalker immediately feel like home for everybody with post-Soviet past is that uh, all the uh, all the interiors and all the little details uh, are right. These things kind of look right-ish, although I'm, I'm still not convinced. Okay, let's stab it to that plank. <laughs> Bang. Let's take a screenshot. Ah, now is the movement tutorial, so we have to get through from under there, but naturally I'm gonna also attempt to get on top of things. Okay, I, I will play your game, game. Can we get up there? Help! Help! For the love of God, please! Let me out! Let me out! Well, shit, I'm, I think we're getting closer to the singularity event thing. Of course, I wasn't paying, att paying attention who this actually was. Okay, looks like shit's starting to get interesting. And I have more or less mastered my controls and gotten used to what's what and had my um, visual design quibble. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode here and start a new one pretty much right away. Thank you for watching. Huge thanks uh, to Noxby1 for letting me get dip into his library. So yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.